Uh, my name is Joey Hand. I'm driver of the number 65 Ford Mustang GT3 for Ford Multimatic Motorsports. One thing I'm excited about is we have a Mustang back racing all over the world. There's going to be so many Mustang fans that are going to be so excited to see this car, hear this car. The, the actual car is a, is a Mustang in the middle. Um, this thing is a 5.4 Coyote based V8. We have a transaxle in the back of the car, meaning it's the gearbox and the rear end is all the same piece. One of the big things with this car is we have an E-clutch, so there's no third pedal in the car as a clutch pedal, so it's, it's different to get used to. We have paddles, you know, upshift and downshift paddles, but we also have clutch paddles on the steering wheel. So it's as simple as engaging a gear and the clutch basically does it automatically, electronically, uh, drags the clutch out for you. So a uh, lot of different stuff. I mean, obviously from your Mustang or your dark horse from the street, we have a splitter on the front. We have a really big diffuser on the back, all to make downforce from the bottom of the car. Um, and then obviously a pretty giant wing on the back there. So, you know, um, all the stuff that's made to, for racing and made within the the homologation of the car. One of the cool things about the GT3 platform now, and here we call it GTD Pro in IMSA, but the GTD platform, you know, we can race this car all over the world. We can race at Nürburgring, it's gonna race here at Daytona, obviously, Le Mans, it'll be in Australia doing stuff. It's gonna be all over the world. So it's a, a super cool that now we can take the same car and, and, and go all over the place. The first time I drove this car, I knew it was a car for me. I enjoyed it right away, right out of the box, and it was it's kind of a relief. You never know when you, I've, I've been fortunate enough to do a lot of development work in, in, in cars, and uh, as a driver, you just always hope that, you know, we got it right. And with this thing, I knew right away we got it right. It was a good car. For me, when I say we got it right, the car drives really good from the entry to the middle of the corner, and you always have front grip. And that's, that's a big thing for a race car driver because you can place the car where you want. Um, the brakes work really good. There's a lot of stuff that, for me, I fit right into. And so, uh, you know, again, as a race car driver, you're looking for a car that you can race, or raceability, I call it, right? So um, you gotta be able to be put offline by a prototype or dive down the inside of another competitor and be able to make the corner and drive off the corner. And so that's what you look for in a car. That's what we're, you know, we still are tuning into the car, you know, with roll bars and springs and dampers we're still tuning in more of that raceability and so far so good but now we go race there is so much stuff done by Multimatic and Ford Performance and and even M Sport with the engine to to get this thing to where I first sat in it but it was pretty cool that I was early enough in the development to where I sat in the car at the shop in Mooresville at Multimatic and was able you know I was in this this chassis, not this one particularly, but I was in the chassis when they said, hey, where should we have the wheel position? Where should we have the seat position? You know, where should the dashboard be? Like, what should the buttons look like? And I held the prototype steering wheel early on in the early days before we ever obviously rolled the car out of the shop. So, you know, to be in the, involved at the very, very early stages, you know, for me is, is pretty awesome because in my mind, this car, you know, we're going to race this car for years to come and this car is going to win races around the world hopefully a lot of times with me driving it right to have a shot at this race or any of these big races, long races or any race i mean obviously you have to finish so um you know first and foremost in the test list when you start developing a car is making sure the parts will go the distance right and then secondary is really the drivability and the performance stuff right so that's how we do it. You go, you take car, you drive it. They ask us to drive, like, does it have a good feel? Yeah, it's a good feel. Good enough, let's do some mileage on it. Let's put some time on it and see, you know, does anything fail, right? And so we've had, we've had really good success with the car right out of the box of having good endurance runs and putting tons of, mile, tons of miles on our test car. Um, and then at that point, we start working on that raceability and drivability and we're still there. I mean, this car is still new to us. I mean, this is only the first days we've driven it around competition, right? So you can do all you want by yourself and you think you're fast, you think you're good, but maybe you're out there by yourself and you don't know. When you get here with other cars, that's really when you get to judge, you know, how good are we? How do we draft? You know, how do we run, you know, how do we brake compared to other cars? How do we accelerate to other cars? And so we're still in those early days of, of building in 
you know, like doing that performance stuff. The, the whole base of this program is, you know, from, from Ford is, yes, what you're looking at is a factory effort, but a few garages down is a customer Mustang. And these are just the first ones in a long list of customer cars that will be going all over the world. I mean, for sure, the idea is to have Mustangs all over the world uh, racing the biggest race in the world. And the only place there'll be factory efforts is right here in IMSA. Everything else will be customer cars. You know, we all sit on airplanes and sit next to people and they're like, what do you do? I drive race cars. Cool. What do you drive? Fords. What kind of car? Mustang. You're like, oh, my dad has a Mustang. My brother has a Mustang. You know, my, my mom has a Mustang, whatever. And I think for me, that's one of the coolest things is Mustangs are back out there racing all over the world. There's so many Mustang fans. It doesn't matter if you own a 66 or a 2003 or 2004. If you're a Mustang fan, you're a Mustang fan. And now you're going to be able to go to the racetrack and watch Mustangs race. Support brands who support grassroots motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. To learn more, visit crcindustries.com. Want to see more content like this? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And for more information, visit us online at grassrootsmotorsports.com.